one of the tenets of the Jewish faith is that the burial place will be uh, looked after in perpetuity. So as soon as that cemetery is full, then they need another cemetery as, you know, to, uh, to bury their community in. So, that, so this is an extension, really, of the existing one. So the idea of building these buildings with rammed earth, I think came from a, it came from a couple of different places. One is that, as a practice, we're very keen on using materials that have a very low carbon footprint. And then also, when this cemetery is full, these buildings will no longer be used and they will be demolished. You know that these buildings could actually kind of crumble back down into the earth that they came from, seem to me kind of practical and, uh, but also quite kind of, um, you know, that's a very kind of clear kind of parallel to sort of, you know, to, to the human condition. One of the things about the, the choice of these materials is that they're all quite uh, muted materials, but they're all natural, so each one is different. You know, even with the encaustic tiles, because they're handmade, each one of the tiles has a slight difference to it. You know, there's a kind of a different pattern in, in each piece of the timber. The core ten is a kind of, you know, is a kind of chemical process which happens, you know, in a different intensities and in different parts of the metal. So there's no, there's nothing kind of homogenous or plain about anything, any of the materials. They all have that kind of natural grain running through them, and that was that was very important to me that they would be materials that are muted. You know that they're not kind of overwhelming. In the Jewish faith, there's no um, there's no architectural typology, so there are no domes or spires or crucifixes. So, actually, when you're approaching an architecture um, in, for the Jewish faith, it really is about an understanding of uh, of the process. Of the burial process of this, you know, for this specific use. So that understanding of that process is really what formed the plan of these buildings. So the floors slope gently down from the west to the east. So that kind of orientates that process. There's an under, kind of physical understanding and a kind of an impetus that, that you will pass from the west to the east. The idea was that the buildings, the, the plan of the buildings, the layout of the buildings would be very clearly understandable, that there wouldn't be any challenges to people, so that when you're in that kind of state of grief, that you're not kind of, you know, marvelling at the cornice details, or kind of like, you know, or wondering if you should turn left or right. The building has to be, I think, kind of very intuitive in terms of the sort of, you know, of how you pass through it.